Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Urban Rush. You know when you have a photograph someone's taken and you go, oh, I wish I didn't stand like that. Why wasn't it better? I'm taller, I'm We're stronger, and I'm better looking. Well, there's a way to do that in pictures. And here to tell us more is Tamia Birch. She is a photographer. How are you? Sure. I'm fine, thank you. How, How are, are you? you? I'm very well. So Excellent. there are tricks, really, to make yourself look better in pictures. There's several tricks, yeah. What are some of the big mistakes people make? The biggest mistake, in my opinion, that people make, and everyone does it, I've, I've shot actors, I've shot models, and they do it too, is everyone, when a camera is pointed at them, here, I'm going to show you. All right. Okay, let I me know, take your you picture. Before. Oh, I is told it, you, it, that's it, right. People, people always lift look up chins. a little bit. They raise their head. And what does that do when you raise it, your head a little bit? It elongates your neck, but in a bad way. You lose your chin, especially depending on the light. So you get all chin. You get all chin. Whereas if you put good. it too low, though, you get more Nine chin. chin. Yes. <laughs> so the trick is you just demonstrate slightly well okay you're taking my picture and I go mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Don't do that. Bad. I like the so, way that we make you do it <laughs> yeah, instead thanks, of guys. Us. Um, so you lift up what you do instead is the minute the camera's pointing at you you'll, you'll feel yourself if you're aware of it lifting your chin up all you do is just correct and lift it back down just a fraction lower than you think you'd so normally hold it. So a fraction lower than normal? Just so a bit though in, not a lot. A little bit. Yeah in. and that way also your eyes are really connecting with the lens of the camera as opposed to slightly above like the camera. Like yeah. Yeah. And then you just oh. should I also get my finger, get my finger. <laughs> Sucking my cheeks in at the same time. Which cheeks, Michael? <laughs> oh, good question. Um, oh, <laughs> there we wait, go. Wait, wait. Oh, right, right. Wait, wait. Very yeah, nice. What kind of pictures you. do you usually take? I mean, you take a whole range of... I do, yes. Who I, are your usual sus or subjects? My usual suspects? suspects. <laughs> uh, I do a lot of actor headshots and portraits, families and children, and just generally portraits for various people. Well, and, and I do the, weddings as well. We have a couple of candidates as well that you've taken yep. uh, of uh, different musicians. I think the first one's Keith Urban. Yes, it and is. And this is just a That's beautiful a photograph. Thank you very Mike much. Mike thinks he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's hot, but... Uh, the photograph doesn't hurt him. I'm telling you that much. No, it doesn't. See, he was lifting his chin just the right amount. So what's the key? The is, it, is it running a lot of film? I mean, when yes. you have people like that that are on stage, you're just taking a yeah. lot of pictures. Well, um, because any public event, people are moving constantly. People mm -hmm. aren't standing still for you to take their picture. So you have to just have your finger on the trigger, on the shutter button constantly. And just go. And like then you call those photos and, and get Really and we're going to look shots. at another one. David Usher is familiar to everyone from Moist. And when you're at a concert like this, lighting must change all the time. Yes. But sometimes you can really capture something great. Yeah. Again, it's constantly shooting. That's the huge difference, is if you're able to just keep your finger on the trigger and keep shooting and shooting and shooting. Because I lucked out with this one, and the lights went beautifully with sort of a blue and a red, mm -hmm. which look amazing on him. Very How nice. much has digital photography looks changed like saying, the world of pictures? Ah! <laughs> No, he's saying, I love you to all the girls. I love you. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, uh, how much has so. digital photography changed the way uh, you do your work? A lot. Um, one of the best things about it, and at the same time kind of frustrating, is that I'm able to show people immediately what their photo looks like when I'm doing a session. Oh, and everybody wants to know, too. So they'll oh, be like, can course. I, can I, can I, can I well, see? Well, when I'm shooting little kids, it's great, because kids often are very uncomfortable when they're having their picture right. taken, especially if it's this person they don't know with this big clicking machine in their face. But if you can show them the LCD on your camera of what you just did, suddenly the kids get really excited We've and interested. We've got a little cutie patootie right here. Isn't he a pumpkin? Yeah. Who's that? How, how many Look pictures did you have to hair. take to capture this moment? Because this is so cute. I didn't have to take that many for that one. He had just woken up from a nap oh, and I he was yeah, nice and that. docile at the time. <laughs> yeah, that's he was fascinated by the camera as well, so he was really interested in seeing what was going on there. It, I Love that must have taken hours to get the uh, the wig on him properly, so that, it just, <laughs> <laughs> that kid, his hair is incredible. Mike, you have hair envy. I do have of hair a newborn. Envy of a, of a probably, I'm guessing like an 11 month old. Uh, he's a, uh, just over a year old. Yeah, yeah. his family's Persian, so he, they, they, his Lots mom had hair. beautiful hair as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and we're going to talk about guy. some other hints as well. But I want to look at. Uh, I think you have a photograph of a of a Canadian. Uh, uh, That's singer. a jazz singer from Winnipeg. Her name's Mira Black. She's beautiful. beautiful She's photo. stunning. So she, her voice is more beautiful than she is. Here with the background and stuff? Yes. Yeah. That's a. She's from, um, as you can probably tell, her uh, her background is East Indian, and that's a sari of hers that she brought oh, back beautiful. from India. So. 
we set that up for her and she was just as soon as we got that up there she really relaxed yeah um, so I always tell people bring things bring something personal bring something personal to your session bring your favorite shirt even if you don't think it's your nicest shirt just have it with you yeah. it's a comfort Speedo, thing something like that yeah. yeah is that what you would bring yes yes absolutely <laughs> now it's I a Canadian flag Speedo though, not so. nice. a film fest event on Saturday with a lot of people yes. who are actors and stuff people that are used to being in front of a camera but mm. all the guys were asking me the same question before they went on the red carpet for maybe you have number? an <laughs> for my number, for Mike's number, um, what do you do with your hands when you're a guy? Because yes. they didn't want to look awkward, but I think everybody gets that moment of panic where you stop feeling natural when you know somebody's Absolutely. about to take your picture. So yeah. what is your advice for fellas when they're going to get their picture taken? The best thing is find something to do with your hands. That like is, what? Yeah, well, <laughs> no. And keep them off other people. Right. Michael, can I get you to stand up for a minute? Yeah, please? absolutely. So what you want to do is you want to put one hand in a pocket. Which, which camera am I? Okay, one hand in a pocket. Uh, not all that, all the way in. Keep, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> no, there you go. I'm like, hi. No. Okay. <laughs> well, it depends on what kind of photo you want. Okay. okay. So you've got one hand in a pocket and put your legs slightly further apart than you'd normally hold them. And chin down a little bit and take a deep breath. There oh, you the go. Relax. Yeah. There you go. Bond. Very nice. There's my photo. <laughs> so for guys, the biggest trick that is doesn't just, feel totally natural, but I could see how it would better. cheat all the yeah. proportions. It does, but. and the one hand in the pocket makes you look like you're relaxed, even if you're not. Even if you're and not. And if you don't nice. have pockets, one hand just very lightly, not gripping, but just sort of again for men so on that your you're lapel. Doing something. And, something. And, and for the girls, same sort of thing. Well, angle, let's, let's look at my picture angle first. Angle is very important. I, I, angle I, is huge. I don't. Um, angle is. It's not like I'm often on red carpets, but I really panic. There's 50 people yelling your name, and you don't know what to do. So I just kind of hi hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Hey. Now there is a way that I could have made myself look uh, slimmer and a little bit less awkward. Maybe you can give some advice I for that. I personally think you look really good in that photograph. Oh, I really do. <laughs> Um, the one thing I'm noticing is that it really shortened your body because you're directly facing the camera and, right. and you have a lovely tall frame. So in this photo, if you look at it, you're very Shrunk. shortened. Yeah. So what I would have done if I were you, and can I get you to stand yeah. up for a moment in those heels? Yes, I can. Do it? Whoa, holy God. <laughs> can you stand next to me? Did stand I next to me. she was tall? <laughs> okay. So what I want to get you to do... Wait, wait, I'm standing way behind her. That's <laughs> there better. There we go. There. Okay, so what, and I'll do it as well. I did one of these. So step forward a little bit okay. from the couch, yeah. Now you want to put one foot in front of this one, yeah, there you go, and turn it slightly to the side. There we go. Instantly, beautiful posture, and now you're turned a little bit more to the side. Oh, so you look skinnier if you're you not look, like doing the exactly, full on. Exactly, never face the camera full on. And don't put your back to the camera. Yeah, and so put your hands down and put your hands, rest them lightly on your hips. There now, you let me take a picture. I'm just gonna feel really, I feel like I'm gonna tip over. Now take a deep Wait. breath, take a deep <laughs> breath. And relax. Oh, oh I put so my chin cute. up. I did it. Put it right down, Michael. Okay, put your down. chin down. Look at the And cuteness. I did my crazy face. The minute I heard the camera, crazy okay, face. I have, I have another hint for you. If you, if you can get the photographer to do this, I realize in a situation like that, you probably can't. But a lot of people always blink in their pictures. I hear that all the time. People are like, I'm going to blink. I blinked. I blinked. All you have to do, and it's so easy, ask your photographer to count to three. Okay. And when they count to three out loud, on three, take a breath in. For some really weird reason, you won't blink. people don't blink when they breathe in. See, my way to do it has always been to open my eyes extra wide. <laughs> yes. And then I make sure I don't blink. And that's why Mike and I look so great in all those pictures. Thank very you attractive. so much. If you're you want to find out pleasure. more, you can go to Tamea's website to find out more information. Absolutely. You can see it on your screen there. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Warren Smith will be joining us. He's uh, one of the directors of Make a Wish, and they're having an awesome thing called Rock Band Battle of the Bands. We'll be right back.